<laughs> Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. For our first episode of CEDH gameplay, we wanted to highlight some of the commanders from the new set. So we put together Croxo World Gorger Stacks, Euro Food Chain Scepter, Heliod Ballista, and Nylea Midrange. Begin. Any pregame effects? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I have Gemstone Cavern. I will draw for my turn. And Ancient Tomb. And I'll pay two life and play a Sphere of Existence. I got time for this. <laughs> you know what? I think you did that on purpose. I think you did that on purpose. Backstory, Tyler, who was playing the Euro deck, hates Mystic Sanctuary, and I insisted that he keep the card in. Forest, and we're gonna cast a Birds of Paradise. What's the one? One of it's to cast a Mox Band, and I'll discard her board. Tap this, use the one floating, cast a card, so. Sorry, sorry. Dylan doesn't know how to read. Everyone has three more life for the rest of the game. Spoiler, it's not particularly relevant. I'm gonna flip him go to the here. Like, getting up. Yeah. Sweltering suns. That's right. Play a land. I will pay five total mana. I'm gonna cast the ley line of the void. I'm just gonna crack this. I am going to nature's claim these fear of resistance. Go <laughs> to my turn. Is it untap an elf you control to return a forest to the other way So it's return an elf I control to untap a creature. There's no cover. Okay. Sorry. Is that trickling? And transmute drift of fantasies? On your turn, I will. Nine step. Reality shift targeting Sire and Sam. Exiles it, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Play a of Paradise. Okay. Cast Eternal yeah. Scourge. I'm going to throw the Sack. Nate, who's playing the Heliod deck, seems to think his City of Traitors is a Crystal Vein. Um, that's why he's sacrificing it for two mana. But he just tutored for Ballista, so it's not really going to matter. He's going to win. Two of two. So it comes with two counters. One. Mm -hmm. Do the lifeline. Okay. One of you. Ouch. That's counter. Yep. Continue the loop. Yep. Anyone got anything? No. We're dead. Got nothing. No. I have yeah. Fluster Storm. Yeah, yeah Fluster Storm. But oh. that doesn't stop. <laughs> Good win. Clean. Congratulations. Turn one, sphere of resistance. Awesome. <laughs> Chromox. I'm gonna exile a mod salvage. Cast a grim model. Alright. Soak a recovery. Mm -hmm. Eon And green sun for zero to go get dried over. So I'm gonna fetch a blood stain wire. With uh, this, I'm gonna float a couple colorless. I will cast a pyroplasm. <laughs> Yeah, I am just Oh, I should have shuffled the greens on. Yeah, shuffled them. Just cutting. Just cutting. I hate it. Oh, okay. I'm going to put this back into the command zone. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Oh, this one. Okay, my adversary. Don't hurt. A shadow ridge. No. Proxa again. Can you can Okay, uh, this time when it dies, I will put it into my graveyard. Hang on, no, you are doing it wrong. Each opponent who did not discard a non-land card loses three. I would like to personally thank Tyler, 
for having the ability to read and comprehend double negatives. Thanks, Tyler. Hi, can I do anything? Spell game three. Shot card. We'll put the clue on the back of the side. Oops. He's still the library. You're pretty far behind. He's guess. at one, two. He's okay. at six mana, you're at two. The cavern and name out. Hits Dylan for two. Drop a wall of roots. Play carpet and flowers. Just in case that becomes and relevant. Plays some point. I've been waiting this whole time, Tyler. This was only my opening hand. Included Delta, so I certainly will have an island. Cast Cathartic Reunion, and as an additional cost, discard two cards to draw three. Three. Cast a Talisman of Indulgence. Cast a Lion's Eye Diamond. I'll make a red and a red, and sacrifice this, discarding my hand, which is Power Blast, to make three and two. Try to escape this. So I'll make five cards. Tyler? No response. All right, here comes a Reunion Force. Three, three. Okay. Silver Lightning, of course. I will keep two extra cards for you. That means not a good call. Smothering Tide. Okay. Yeah. Add one green with Carpet of Flowers. Cast a Orin Frost Frank. That's me here. So I'm going to draw two, and wow. I will pass the turn. I will draw a card. I'll, I'll go to combat. I'm gonna attack Tyler, I think. Yeah, I didn't. I I do want to stop you before you go to combat. I'm sorry. I like the sound of that. Okay. Everyone do whatever you can. All right. Uh, I'll go to combat. Cheater. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> You're gonna big rift. Okay. Hold on. I got no responses to big rift. I can't let that happen. Okay. I'll sack one of the treasures on my hands. You gonna mana tide? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone keeps underestimating white. Counterspells, people. Counterspells. This is how you win games. Okay, so I can go to combat. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. I'll declare my attacker. I'll attack you. Sure. And cards are trigger. And we'll discard a card. I'm gonna be really big team. Well, Karta is kind of good at keeping everyone's hands slim. He's caused four discards so far. Is that right? I'm gonna keep one extra card. Wait, two more scourge. Oh, I would be worried. Wait, Tom Twister. Oh no! I had an Imperial Seal. Somebody... Yeah, I'm gonna empty my life. Seven. Play another island. <laughs> You know, I don't think that will. Exploration, island, island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do that. Nice ponder. Okay. Oh. I guess. I see. End your turn, I'm going to be a good soldier. Another soldier, if you want it to be. Because okay. I need more mana. Use the mana crypt. Heal ya. Go to 20. Let's be clear. When he says go to 20, he ain't talking about life. He talking treasure, people. <laughs> Go to combat. Aura of silence. Pass a turn. Heliod is a god. Going back real quick, I think the major turning point for Nate playing Heliod was the Time Twister. The Time Twister that Tyler playing Euro fired off to give Nate, who's playing Heliod, all of that treasure was the first turning point for Nate in this game. But being able to use Dawn of Hope alongside all those treasure tokens to get card advantage is, I think, what really turns this deck up to 11. So it doesn't feel like you're playing just a mono white deck. Can I put a one kind of? what? Yeah. Life Crafters Bestiary. Two floating from the carpet of flowers. Yes. I'll go to combat, attack Dylan with for four. I will draw three cards all together and pan for nine. On Wall of Roots to cast an Elvish Druid. I have to go to discard Chromox. And I my green mm -hmm. I will put Dockside Extortionist onto the stack. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just to prevent you from doing Set 20 treasures? No. I'm gonna set three. <laughs> and very protection. Oh, okay. So I will get one, two, three, four. And I have one close holding still. And I will cast Swalter this side. I'm going to cast a reanimate on Dockside Extortionist. It's a sphere of resistance. Response. Okay. Correct response. Customers. Um Sphere Resolve? Sphere Resolve. 
five. Sounds intimidation sounds like it it does it. No, I don't have it, but I get to cast Sign of Blood targeting you, and then I'll cast Wheel of Fortune. So this play felt very clever at the time, making Tyler get rid of that Cyclonic Rift, but looking back, I feel like we maybe just like didn't expect Nate to do anything because he was playing the mono white deck. I should have just let Tyler cast the Cyclonic Rift, bouncing my little goblin and all of Nate's stuff. That that might have just been better. The wheel happens, everyone just cuts your hand draw seven. All right, I'm gonna go to combat. I will attack Proxa at Tyler. So long, Mox Diamond, hey yo. Hey, same here. <laughs> okay, that's it for me. That's all I got. I, I'm gonna pass my turn after that. I will keep just one of those. I'm gonna play a Mystic Sanctuary. It's actually good this time. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's pretty sick. Draw card, sacrifice. Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome yeah. Back. I'm gonna remove a counter. Remove counter, gain two life. Yep. Remove counter, pay two draw cards. Yep. Oh, did you pay? No. You paid two spells, right? Yep. So I have an entire layer. Alright, I, I, I gained pay the two draw card. Yeah. Three mana, four. Ether Swarm. Oh. Tyler is at two life. I'm at 25, 37, and 42. I'm gonna go up two life. Pay the two. Play Alright, let's draw for turn. I have four mana from Carpet of Flowers now. Actually, it'll have to be five. I'm gonna Kenrith's Transformation. Draw. Do you think you should have cast Kenrith's Transformation on the Heliod? Um, well, I guess if I was in hindsight, maybe. Um, at the time, I was really concerned about the Canonist. I got a bunch of uh, very small green creatures that I'm trying to cast. Yeah. Uh, good combat. Tyler, I'm really sorry, but this is competitive. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta knock you out here. I'm gonna hit you for two. Sure. Alright. Dead. Hey, I have a question. Yeah. Why did I kill Tyler? I don't know. He had, he a, had the Cyclonic he Rift. He had a Cyclonic Rift. I think at the time of the game, he had been Sylvan Librarying a lot and was a little bit ahead of mana for a bit. I was pretty scared of him. Yeah, but looking back on it now, I I think Heliod was just Nate was just so far ahead. Man, this red elemental blast in my hand really looks bad now. <laughs> Three mana on a collector oof. Maybe that was why, because you thought you had the collector oof, you thought you were shutting down the smothering tide. That's gotta be it. Now that I remember that I had the oof, that has to be why I did it. Because I'm I'm a really good magic. That player. must have been it. I'm going to activate Life Crafter. I'm going to pass the turn. Right. I'm a really bad magic player. <laughs> Play a mountain. I'm going to, for two mana, cast Burning Inquiry. One, two, three. Boop, boop, boop. Tyler, choose three. Arcane Signet. Red Elemental Blast. Really, you should flip them over and I'll discard at the same time, but... Oh, sh I got rid of shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, six. Uh, I'm gonna go to combat. Nate, I'm gonna attack you. Discard trigger cock set. I have no elves in play. What the hell is this? <laughs> Elfish guidance. Get I'm out of here. I'm going to sack four of these. Make a one one. Oh, I, I will pay two more to draw. Each opponent who didn't discard a non land card. You didn't. I did. Um, there you the go. On the card? Yep. Results. That does it. Cast it. So if you missed it, he just did the same thing he did in the game one, in game two. So, Heliod Ballista. Any pregame effects? Wow. <laughs> oh, fuck. Everyone's always complaining about how bad Mono White is. Turn one, Smothering Tithe is pretty. Good. Yeah, my hand sucks now. Uh, my hand sucked because I had a Wheel of Fortune in it. Damn. Well, uh, I'll draw. Oh. <laughs> Put Utopia Sprawl on Forest Naming Green. Pass. Draw card. Scalding Tarn. You ever start turn two with 17 fucking men? <laughs> uh, we Badlands. Lotus Petal. We'll sacrifice the Lotus Petal for a black mana and cast Roxa. Trigger. Right? Land. I'm gonna take three. three. Sacrifice this, put it into the graveyard. Pass the <laughs> Holy shit. All right. That is stinky. Converting treasures into cards is nice, but converting treasures into 4-4 four, four angels um, from turn two on is also good. 
play an ancient tomb, float a green, and cast a boil druid. I'm gonna use that green and pay two life. Life crafters bestiary. Pass the turn. My bonus position. Ninja? I'll play a blast song, play a lion's eye diamond. I had a wheel of fortune that I planned off firing soon, but oh, we need I, I really, I really think that's oh, like yeah, a bad, yeah. that's a, a bad, bad play idea. to do. You guys want to go to the next game? <laughs> wheel of fortune. Uh, I'll cast a cruel mox, pitch a wheel of fortune. I'm gonna just kind of talk to you guys. Uh, I have a vandal blast and a trinosphere. Trinosphere slows him down a lot, but it slows you guys down way more, and I kind of need your help. Vandal blast, I can lose my whole hand to vandal blast, but that doesn't do a ton because he can he'll build him back up again. Do you have a way to deal damage? To Not him? on this. This turn, but on my next turn. So if you can attack him, I can then attack him on my next turn. I can cast Cracks on this turn from my graveyard, which would make him discard his last card, and then I can start pummeling him. Sacrifice Lion's Eye Diamond for three black, discarding Knight's Whisper, Vandal Blast, and Trinosphere. I will use two red to cast Cracks. I will exile these five cards, and then it triggers. Get the pass turn. I'm not gonna pay the two. Okay. Okay. Get draw a card. Greeting. He is gonna get it because Tyler won't be able to throw anything at him, but it's true. My turn, I get a scrub. I thought about that. Float a green, pay two, cast a growing right. He's gonna get it on this turn cycle. He's gonna get better off playing that. Yeah, yeah. If he gets it this turn cycle, it doesn't make much sense. Because, like, right now, it just doesn't matter. A draw card. I will pay the two mana. Luminarch is on. So that you do not. I'll put land for my turn. I will go to attacks. How many units can you make? No. No, I can't attack him. <laughs> That's so stinky. Now I have to attack. Tyler's my only good attack. And Tyler's like so far behind. Or you can just not attack. I want the trigger. I need to be able to start. I don't give a shit, but you're not making him discard anything. He's hell bent too. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Is your trigger even good? It only hamstrings um, Cam and I, yeah. or your allies against them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna attack this. What else am I doing? Uh, I'll go to attacks. Uh, Cameron, I'll come at you with Crux. I'll take six this time. Well, attack trigger before you take another okay. mission. Discarding packs. Shared summons. Take six. Wait, read that again. Because I might have to take the three. Whenever an opponent attacks, you each opponent discards cards, then each one who did not dis- So that's why it's phrased that way. We're learning! We're uh, learning! Yeah. We're learning! We're figuring it out. Pester. Uh, no, I'm not going to. Please, definitely tell us. Did you just put blasters on the last turn? You have to do it to two, but like by two, what are you getting? I can put just it up to getting... two, I can get Luminarch. Crash Uro? If I can, I can get up to two, I can get rid of the Luminarch yeah. Ascension yeah. then, and then you can get rid of the Smothering Kai with the Reformation Sage. Yeah. Yeah. Life from here, Mana Cup. Yeah. Yeah. For a pretty low level. Very low level. End of your turn, I'll be three. Not bad. more ramp. I need more, more ramp. ramp. I need more yeah, turn one smothering time. <laughs> Twelve in total. Give one more. I'm gonna give you that. Yeah. All right, I get a scry here. I think that's terrible. Draw. Are you paying two? Mm, no. Play a. Yeah, I can lose the uh, luminar extension on my turn if you want to blow up the smothering time. I'm gonna blow up Smother in Time and draw an extra card. This is like the most politicking that I've ever done in a CDH game. Falling so far behind from the Smothering Tithe turn one and the turn two Luminarch Ascension just makes it feel like you have to like talk to everyone and team up to get the other one because I, I didn't have enough time to find my own win condition. The goal is still to win. You're, you still gotta win this game and we're only gonna do that if we all come together and stop Nate. I, I get a treasure. Yes. Yeah, I get one more. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna attack Dylan for two. Draw a card. Pass the turn. All right. I'll pay two to put one. Card Gotta be able to deal with these oh, these absolutely. angels, or I'm gonna die. Untap. Draw a card. Draw a card. Yeah. <laughs> Destroy blast zone for X equals two. Fellow stone also. In response, I will make three angels. So I'll go down to one treasure. These are untapped angels. Well, you're at twelve. Yeah. Okay. Combat. Wish you wouldn't. Is there something that you can do to help us if I don't? Yeah. I mean. I have two have cards in hand. I need, I need both of them. Can I assure you, if you attack, I will make no effort to stop you. All right. Okay. I won't attack if you try to. I, I'm. Yeah. I help, have help. to try and deal with them. Yeah. All right. I, I won't. I, I will not attack. I'll pass my turn. In upkeep, cast the worldly terror. Reveal spell secret. Okay. Place spell secret. Three, three life. Three life. So I'm gonna just go here. Pass. Turn. Go to combat. Attack. 
that's it for me. All right. Damage. Go for damage. Wait, what was it? At? It was a thirty-five. Yeah. Come back. Well, that's pretty bad for me. <laughs> Should I not attack again? So you can cast Psychonic Crit? You tell me, this is literally the only thing I can do. Yeah, and I also don't want to... Yeah, I'm attack. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, stopping I me is good. Yeah. But, like, you also have to remember that he is also... Then, then he has it, yeah. Crash the trigger, discard a card, lose three, and then you lose six. Pass him. I'll take one, push one for you. At me? Damn. Damn, is that really what it is? So when I lost 12 from those angels the first time, I forgot what my life total was halfway through clicking my life total 12 down. So I got the wrong life total coming back, which would have left me at one life. Seems relevant, but hilariously not relevant considering the only card in my hand was a vampiric tutor, which I was going to try to use to get a damnation, but the tutor would have killed me anyway. And I doubt the top card of my library could have saved me from that many angels. Unless it was a damnation, I guess, that was just there, but we'll never know. It probably wasn't. It probably wasn't. No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dead. Four damage, I'm going to do okay. two of them. And I'll stack the treasure for a third. I'll do 12 to pass. You're at 30. Okay, one cracks the three coins. Billy just fucking three peed at us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just dead either way. So, Tyler ended up not being able to find the land for the Cyclonic Rift that he needed, and he just scooped to Nate, who clearly was ahead for most of that game. Turn one was basically the deciding factor. Yeah, turn one smothering game. tithe felt like it was just so impossible to catch up, so we had to do everything we can to slow him down, and by the time we could, he already had so many angels that we, we were out of resources, we couldn't keep up. So we just got three-peated by Heliod. I'm not sure if it's because Heliod is good or we are bad, but either way, Thero CDH is fun. Just wait, it's every child's dream to have a turn one smothering tithe. And if you work really hard and play a lot of magic, one day it'll happen to you. <laughs> Let's play on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Let's, Let's play. play. That's so stupid. That's no, we're so... not gonna do that. I'll put laser beams coming out of our hands. I like that. 